in order to run the turbidity test, it's easiest to do the stream side since it does require such a large volume of water. The other tests ha only need a small amount of water, so it's fairly easy to just get a small sample of water and take it back somewhere with a table and running water in order to run it. But to do your turbidity test, first make sure the crimp at the bottom of the tube is closed. You'll want to rinse your tube as well, especially if you've done a muddy sample previously and it's really dirty. Since turbidity is just a measure of how cloudy or clear the water is, you don't really need to rinse it several times. Once is usually enough. So fill the turbidity tube with your stream or pond sample. Again, be careful not to stir up sediment from the bottom while you're collecting your sample. And then, since your temperature is most accurate stream side, we usually just take our thermometer with us. This one has a string attached to it so that if you were to just drop it in the stream, it wouldn't end up lost 20 miles downstream or whatever. But the easy way to do this is just go ahead and stick it in your turbidity sample and hold it there for a couple of minutes and get your temperature reading here stream side where it's going to be most accurate and without having to dump it in the stream. So for this you'll just wait several minutes until the temperature stabilizes and then take your reading and record it on your data sheet. Um, the temperatures that we use are in Celsius and uh, you use your, your temperature reading to interpret your ammonia results and the table for that is in Celsius as well. So once you're finished, pull it out, read your temperature. This one looks like, oh, 18, 18 degrees Celsius. Okay. Once you've filled your turbidity tube to the top, look down through the water column. There's a black and white icon at the bottom. It's called a secchi disc. If you can see that icon with the tube filled completely up, it's recorded as a 60 plus centimeter measurement. This tube goes up to 60. Um, so if you can see all the way down to the bottom, that black and white icon with it full, it's a 60 plus. If you can't see the icon, while holding the tube and looking down through it, open the crimp at the bottom and drain off water until you can see that black and white icon. If you're somewhere in direct sunlight, it helps to have your back towards the sun and the, the tube in the shade. Sometimes sunlight refract, or refracting off the inside of the tube causes your measurement to become slightly uh, inaccurate. It gets really hard to see the disc at the bottom until the water is almost gone, no matter how clear the water is. Once you've drained off the water until you can see the icon, read the centimeter measurement alongside the tube and record it on your data sheet. And then simply dump the water out, preferably on the bank, just in case you need something more water from the stream that you haven't muddied it up. And then if your tube has gotten dirty, go ahead and rinse it here while you've got water rather than having it crusty and nasty for your next sampling excursion.